All right, what's up guys? We're back, day two, KBF DZ the 10. It's 6.59, so we start here in a minute. Had a decent day yesterday, but bites were few and far between, so hopefully today we can get a few more bites and get some big ones in the boat. So day two starts in one minute, let's go. Seven o'clock, lines in. Thirteen and a half, let's go. Second fish, 15 change I think. That's why you always follow up the frog. Thirteen seven five, fish number three. Sixteen and a quarter, let's go. Let's go. Eighteen seven five.
Ooh. I wasn't even paying attention, just bombed that out there. Nineteen seven five, let's go. One hook. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, guys. So a little update. Um, we trying to get rid of a 13.75. Ended up with that 13 yesterday, and just pulled it out with this. Let's go. 20 and a half. Oh. Oh. 1975, let's go. There she This is unbelievable. Twenty and a quarter. Let's go. Come on, man. That's why we put.
and a half. Not gonna help. And that is a good problem to have on the last day. that one yesterday. Needed all these yesterday. Twenty and a quarter, three fifty six. Let's go. Oh. Four o'clock. I did what I could. See. See what happens. What a day. All right, what's up guys? So you just watched day two of the KBF The 10 down in Polk County, Florida. Um, had a much better day, caught all my fish on a frog, and it was, it was kinda, you know, it was just one of those days where everything kinda went right and fish got hung up in some of those areas and those roots and whatever, and they came out somehow. And um, that's just part of fishing. Sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes wrong. and. Day one, a few things went wrong, and day two, just a bunch of stuff went right. So, um, this is the frog I was using. It's a Spro flapping frog, um, and I don't even know what color this is. It's like a shad kind of bluegill pattern, um, and I caught every fish on that. If they missed that, I would throw the Senko at them and catch a couple on that, but all my bigger fish came on that frog, and it was just a crazy day. It was a blast. Um, I'll put the standings up and we actually ended up coming in with a hundred and a half inches which actually led us to win the tournament which was kind of crazy and um, it's still um, kind of surreal you know it just it's one of those tournaments that's so hard to get into that having a shot to even compete against those guys is awesome and then having a chance going into day two to actually maybe um, win it and then being able to accomplish that goal is just, it's crazy. So um, it was a blast. Everybody at the house is awesome. KBF is great. That whole experience is phenomenal. And I can only hope to get back there. That's that's the goal. So um, if that ever happens again, I don't know. But this weekend and this week was awesome. Polk County, the Camp Mac at where we stay is a great host. and. The lakes are phenomenal. There were so many big fish caught by everybody and not only this tournament, but the trail tournaments and the Tenvitational and it's just a great area to fish and it gets you out of freezing cold weather here in Connecticut in January. So super happy with how it turned out. Um, and I just have to thank Old Town Kayaks, Black Hall Outfitters, Enduro Power Lithium, Hookset Hoodlums. All those people helped me a ton to get to these tournaments. and. Without them, it would be really hard to do any of this. So be sure to go follow those different companies and 
KBF and definitely if you're interested in jumping into kayak tournaments and you know it's not it's not impossible anybody can go out and catch these fish and compete at this level and um that's that's really what it's all about is just getting out there and doing it so thanks guys for watching the video and leave a comment let me know what you thought about it and i'll see you guys at the next one